Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, we saw that ES found responsive sellers at the overnight resistance zone at 92.75 to 94.75. And from that point on, ES has been balancing in a range. At this point, heading into the open, we're going to be using the 82.75 to 84.75 as the very short term micro bull bear zone. As long as ES is holding above 82.75 to 84.75 and we are seeing some strength in the other markets as well, there's still potential for ES to go back up for a retest of 92 to 94, which is the primary inflection point on the upside. And uh, from there, if we can get a breakout above 92 to 94, then ES can go up to 98 to 2100 and fill the open gap at 99 to 75. The current higher volatility environment that we're trading in, we're seeing pretty decent responses at pretty much every support and resistance zone. So unless the market is breaking out on unusual strength above 92 to 94, the sell side can still be active at the 98 to 2100 zone as well as 2101 quarter and 02 half to 03 half. So today we're really just going to have to see is there enough underlying strength across the broader market to really support and justify a move above 82.75 to 84.75 and above 92 to 94 because this is still a major resistance area until it's taken out. So we have to be very flexible with our bias heading into the open and understand that bigger picture, the market is still technically stuck in a range. Yesterday we saw a failed breakdown attempt, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the market has to rally from here on out and uh, just completely reverse the entire move that we've seen over the last few days. We could simply balance within a range, uh, reject 92.94, and then simply balance between initial support, initial resistance, or um, if there's a lot of weakness in the market, we can even break initial support and head lower before responsive buyers really step in. So today we just have to see, is there enough strength to justify continuation to higher prices? Yesterday we saw a very strong rejection, a strong reversal, and the buy side in the short term is in control. But 92 to 94 is a important resistance zone until it's taken out. It's already been tested in the overnight session. So now as we reapproach it, uh, we just have to uh, keep an eye on momentum. And if there is a lot of upside momentum, then ES can take that zone out and go up to 98 to 2100. And then from there, the 01 quarter, 98 to 2100, and the 02 half to 03 half area can still attract responsive sellers in this market. And we can uh, continue balancing. On the downside, if we break 82.75 to 84.75, the market can test 73.5 to 76, and uh, that's still an area where buy side can be active. Below that, we have support at 64.5 to 67, and that's another area where responsive buyers can be active. So on the downside, we just have to, again, look at what type of weakness we're seeing. Are we seeing um, you know, unusual weakness where we can get a big volatility type move lower? Because we are trading in this higher volatility environment, with uh, bigger ranges on above average volume. So a lot can happen on the day time frame. And um, on the downside, unless we're seeing uh, a lot of negative weakness, uh, negative momentum and uh, weakness across the board, buyers can still be active at the support zones. And again, we can simply establish a trading range. So that's the main idea. That's the current context heading into the open. Given that we're trading in a wide balance, again, you do have to be very flexible with your intraday bias and be willing to go long and short because there are good opportunities on both sides. Overnight, the 92 area has already been tested. We've seen some selling off of that zone. So now we just have to see whether the uh, selling that we saw off of the 92.94 is signaling a complete failure or if it's just a rotation and now the market holds above 82.75 to 84.75 and continues going higher. So. That's going to be the main question off the open. Is there enough strength to justify continuation or is there a lack of broad market strength, in which case the market can simply balance within a range? So keep those ideas in mind. Let's see if the buy side can maintain short-term control above the micro bull bear and we'll take it from there.